Hey, welcome to Slam Jam. Today I want to talk about a project that I completed before I actually had a YouTube channel. Uh, and this, I gotta say, is probably one of the coolest things I've ever really put together. A mini dirt bike and a skateboard had an evil child from hell that scares the ever-living crap out of everybody. Um, this is my motorboard. It's like a motorcycle skateboard! Motoboard. Motoboard. That'll stick. It scares the ever-living crap out of me. It took me about six months to build. It was a here and there project, so I would work on it like, you know, whenever I had a couple hours to spare, I would go to the shop and weld some parts together, cut some steel, whatever it was. So I'm gonna start off with what I think is one of the coolest things about this. Uh, it uses uh, reverse Ackerman steering geometry. It's got these little, these little tie rods here, and those are actually made out of something called a rigger's screw, which is essentially uh, an enclosed turnbuckle. And what I did is I welded these little, I welded these little ball joints onto the other end of each screw, and put on a little lock nut so you could adjust the steering. I put a tremendous amount of camber on those wheels. Uh, that's because this thing's kind of intended for use on a gravel road, so I want those front wheels to dig in quite a bit. You tilt the board to the right, and it turns right, and you tilt the board to the left, and it turns left. This is how you control the thing, and basically that's your throttle with your thumb, and yes, that is off of a home light weed whacker, and that's your brake. That's how you stop. Throttle. Break. Awesome. This is kind of a temporary sort of thing I did. This is just to to marry the throttle cable that was built into the home light weed whacker throttle handle to the throttle cable that came with the motor. Um, most of it was cropped from a, one of those pocket dirt bike sort of pit bike kind of deals. The gas tank is just kind of temporary fix. I'm actually working on another gas tank for it. You might have seen it in the background of some of my videos. But this is just a piece of plate that I welded onto a bracket over here and zap strap the gas tank onto. Uh, the motor sits on, there's a piece of steel pipe here that leads up to a motor mount and that's how the motor mounts up. This is just the rear swing arm. I took it off the little dirt bike and I, I chopped it up and basically made it work so I could weld it into the frame I built. And there's the brake. It's just the disc brake off of the original bike that this, these parts were cropped off of. I had to um, cut the mount off for the caliper and move it uh, back about uh, three quarters of an inch and then weld it back onto the frame. This thing has a lot of stopping power. So I'll tell you now, this is one of the bigger challenges is here's the original gear reducer. I wanted to get the lowest gear ratio possible on this thing. So I went out and I got the smallest drive sprocket that I could get for this and the biggest rear sprocket that I can get. So with the gear reduction you have here and the gear reduction you have here, this thing has loads of torque and that also brought down the top speed a lot, which is great because I do not want this thing to be fast. It is kind of scary. It's pretty cool though. This chain was originally horizontal being pulled that way. Now it's vertical so it's being pulled almost straight up and there was a few things that had to do with the design for that. I have a video that shows how I made this thing, but I needed some kind of a chain tensioner to keep dynamic tension on the back chain. It's still kind of a work in progress. It's pretty loose, it needs to be tightened up. But it's basically just, I took a skateboard wheel and I didn't have a, I didn't have a lathe at the time, so just on my drill press, uh, I turned it down into like a, just a little idler wheel. And uh, you can see the sprocket on this free wheels, which is nice because when you let go of the throttle, it doesn't drag back on, on you and throw you off the front of the board. But I just put that on a little steel arm that I made and I put in a little spring with some good tension and it works really well. You can see the frame is made up, it's all welded out of uh, one inch angle and uh, one inch round. You can see the thickness, it's pretty thick walled tubing. You can see uh, the way that the frame was built under there. This is an actual old skateboard that I had. I used the original truck holes to mount this up. And these are just some stainless steel screws. So I just drilled into the frame, tapped it out, and screwed in some stainless steel screws. Uh, I made my own exhaust for it. I chopped up the parts that were on the original dirt bike exhaust, and just, you know, the expansion tank and uh, the muffler can there. And it's really quiet because I took this apart and I loaded it up with rock salt, which is uh, 
insulation that we use for soundproofing. Uh, and then I just welded it up so it would wrap around the rear wheel nicely and just get you, give you kind of a whole compact design. So yeah, this is the moto board. Uh, I'm getting sick of talking about it, so why don't we go take it for a ride? Okay, hey, slime job here. We're gonna go ahead and take this scary thing for a ride. a lot better on pavement. Uh, I think step two is to add some suspension. But for now, I mean, it's working good enough for me. Roll the credits. Nice and easy.